Hello Taurus and welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. This is a weekly reading for Taurus from the 15th to the 21st of October 2018. Please don't forget to watch your moon and rising sign for a more complete picture. Uh, if you want a personal reading, I put the details of my email address and my website in the description box. So please contact me, send me an email. I put the decks I'm using in the description box as well. So uh, And I put links to Amazon and eBay. So uh, please visit those links if you want to buy the deck. Um, don't forget to watch the deck walkthrough series that I'm doing. You might find that interesting. And please uh, like, share, subscribe, and leave me some comments if these messages resonate with you. So this is uh, a general energy read. And um, then we'll do the general tarot read after that. Okay, so the first card is anxiety, so you may be very, very anxious about a situation that is going on. There's some sort of news coming in that's going to be quite surprising to you. That might cause the anxiety as well, so just be on the watch out for that. But uh, there's also a lot of peace coming in for you as well, so this is what uh, you're going for, and this is what seems to be coming in. So right now you're very anxious about something, but a surprise coming in, some sort of news coming in for you. So in the past, you've had a lot of growth going on, and it's been very established, very big growth, and it's something that has pushed you on your life's journey, uh, made you made the route or made your road much clearer, the, all this growth that you've gone through. And, you know, maybe you've been um, asking for forgiveness as well, or you need to ask for forgiveness, or you've been thinking about forgiving, asking for forgiveness as well. So that could be the case. So going into the future, you've got the master and you've got victory. So you might be an expert in what you do now. You might be seeking expert advice or you might be giving expert advice right now. Uh, but definitely a master of what you're doing right now. And you've got the victory card. So everything seems to be working out. You've got a bottle of champagne over there. So that can only be good. So a victory in whatever problems that you've been facing. Uh, so try not to be so anxious about things. It looks like they all are going to work out in the end. Maybe this news that is coming in is going to be something that brings you a lot of victory. So that's the energies for that week. So, uh, I have shuffled this deck. Oh, so there's some sort of new opportunity that is coming in for you. Um, some sort of offer that is coming in for you with a page of pentacles. Uh, but it means that you're going to have to work very, very hard at it. And it may not be paying as well as you would like it to. So, so that seems to be the case. Um, uh, uh, some news of a new job and not paying very well. Because I, this person is the gnome kind of family and they work very hard digging the ground. So working very hard but not making that much of money. Um, for it because he's a small man and uh, you know it might not be paying just as well but and definitely some sort of new offer coming in so you've been spending a lot of time by yourself with this hermit card and you know you've been trying to tread very carefully people are not really for you so watch out there's a lot of hidden enemies people still speaking a lot of nastiness behind your back but your intuition is well in key right now um, and you know you're able to see uh, you're able now to pick up all the lies and deceit quite easily and you are sorting those people and those problems out. So there might be somebody around you that wants to reconcile uh, with you uh, from your past, but they might be a snake in disguise. So, you know, be very careful because this card is crossing the hermit and the hermit's got a snake in his hand. So rely on your intuition. Uh, this person that you want to reconcile with um, and, you know, they might be coming into your arena again might not be the best uh, idea right now because there might still be uh, people that are, you know, are willing to deceive you or um, cause problems for you. They are not um, really your friend uh, with the snake. So pick that up. Make sure that you're not going back into a situation uh, where you had problems. They caused problems and then they're coming back to say that they're sorry. So just be careful. They are still the snake that they will always be. 
<laughs> so in the past year, you've got the emperor card over here. So you've been acting with a lot of authority, also spending a lot of time by yourself with this emperor card, by taking charge of the situation and you're not letting anybody tell you what to do anymore. So you're, you know, you, it seems like all the hardship um, has made you pretty... Um, pretty harsh about life and you know you you're not taking and you're not tolerating any kind of uh suggestions from anybody um you might also be dealing with somebody who is the emperor uh who is uh giving you some grief pulling you around uh that could be an energy that you're working with um in this last year maybe this is the person that you've been facing this is the card that is ruled by mars so this could be a person an actual person in your life that has been giving you grief and is still uh, causing a lot of uh, trouble in your life, uh, you know, and um, still bullying you around. So that could be something that you're dealing with in the last year. So going into the future, you have now reached a point where you are starting to uh, establish yourself. You've, you've moved away from whatever problems you have faced, uh, and you are now going to be starting afresh, starting new, putting down roots as well with the Six of Swords. So you've landed, and now you're trying to put down roots. You're trying to build your stability again. And you've moved away. You still have a lot of uh, unhappy thoughts about whatever happened. You still have carrying those burdens of those thoughts. But you have reached solid ground. You know, you're an earth sign. You've reached solid ground. So you're trying to put down roots and trying to build something up in this last three months. And you are trying to go for that point of being the king of pentacles. This is your card. You are, uh, this is the Taurus the Bull card. And you are trying to establish something. You're trying to build up, establish your money, establish your business, stem, establish something of stability and build yourself up again. And, you know, you're doing this by yourself. Maybe you started from ground roots and, um, you know, you're trying to build that money, that empire of yours that you want your stability you're trying to build it and that's what you're focusing on so you have got the ten of pentacles uh, sorry the ten of cups over here so the end of an old situation so whatever family life established life that you had um it's not it's finished it's over with the ten um that particular um life that you had is gone it's finished and uh you know if you were in a relationship that and you had um, that seems to have ended. Uh, maybe if you got, maybe you went through a divorce, or you moved away from an established family situation into something different. So you have ended that cycle completely, and you're very, very heartbroken about it. But you are recovering. You see, the swords have fallen away. Maybe you were dealing with three people that caused you a lot of heartache and heartbreak, and they have left your um, left um, your energy field, if you like, and you are now recovering from it. You have patched up your wounds as best you can and you're trying to get on with it. And these people have moved on. So you are uh, recovering from it. Around you, you are very focused on work with this devil card. It's become like an obsession for you. It's, see, it's become like the lover here. Uh, there are still lots of people that are causing a lot of grief over here. You've got the snake over here. Um, but you are very committed to this particular um, job you've been just focusing on it maybe an, uh, to a point of obsession I say it's work because the devil is ruled by Saturn or Capricorn and it's about work so you are very very focused it's become your obsession now and you're not seeing anything else you're just focusing on that particular goal uh, about trying to get yourself back again because you had a lot of loss uh, in the past and now you're trying to re-establish yourself so you're not really even thinking I think about relationships anymore because that relationship ended uh, you know, even if you reconcile with this person, they're going to be turning out to be not good for you. So you are now focused on your work. And you can see that this is what you have in your hand. You have your coin, you have your work, you have your job. And that is all that you're focusing on. You want that to progress and that to move forward. And you are just really shunning everything else and only focusing on that. So you've got two cards over here. You've got the King of Pentacles, work and money only on your mind. And also focusing only on the job and making things move forward with the Queen of Pentacles in the hopes and fears section so going into the future you've got the queen of cups the tower or the hangman and the tower i think that's how it worked so the queen of cups you're still very depressed about it you're spending a lot of time by yourself and crying over whatever happened crying over the loss 
of what happened. Your cup is big and empty. So you are spending a lot of time by yourself. Maybe you're hoping for a relationship, but you don't seem to be actively going out and pursuing one. You're just trying to get yourself in order again. So it's, uh, you know, you, it looks like there are periods of depression with this Queen of Cups as well. And you are waiting for somebody to come in and help you. So it looks like you're, you've made a lot of sacrifices and it is being recognized. Uh, and there is like some sort of help coming in uh, for you. You've got this uh, woman uh, giving this person water. So there is some sort of emotional support helping uh, that is going to come in for you. Maybe somebody giving you advice, a friend, somebody, just a little bit of um, relief, you know, and you ha are feeling very tied up, you know, you're like your hands and feet are tied, um, and that you're making this kind of a sacrifice uh, for, you made such a big sacrifice for it. Um, and, you know, you are seeing something, you have had a spiritual sort of awakening. This is the turning point card. Now, the last card is the tower. So something really big, coming in as well oh yeah I don't like the tower card at all <coughs> because these are events uh, that come in and change things and you know topple things over so where things are seem to be very stationary and stagnant the tower is coming back in again to cause a big disruption again and uh, cause a big change to come in um, you know so maybe whatever situation you are is going to change completely uh, and uh, this is bringing in, this is going to be quite sudden, uh, maybe a revelation coming in. Maybe you cause the tower, but maybe something is going to come in and change everything and take you out of this feeling of being stuck. So the tower coming in and bringing a big change uh, soon. Okay, let me draw some cards from the Angel Tarot. So the first card is the five of fire, competing goals, bothersome details, conflict with others. So this is like the five of wands, uh, you know, people arguing, a lot of um, energy flying about that is pretty negative, a lot of competition, uh, you know, as they say, competing goals, bothersome details. So, you know, a lot of energy being uh, used or maybe wasted even doing a lot of things. So that's the card, the five of fire, um, you know, uh, people giving you a bit of grief people around you giving you a bit of grief. You can see all these rods are crossed over here. So not agreeing with anything that you say right now. And you've got the world card with Archangel Michael, which says, job well done. Joy, contentment, and gratitude, a path towards enlightenment. So, um, you know, the old cycle will end with this world card. This is Archangel Michael, uh, divine justice sort of coming in for you as well. And, you know, there is recognition with the world card. Uh, it is something that is ruled by a Saturn, so a lot of hard work, but a lot of recognition coming in, uh, and you know, uh, achievement. Uh, it's the uh, a card of achievement. And the last card is three of air. Um, great sadness. Take time to um, to heal. Uh, the need to forgive yourself and others. So this is like the three of. Um, swords coming in but you are healing from it and you know you are going through a period of very great sadness and trying to heal from it but you are getting there and if you're getting into a place again where you're getting stuck uh it looks like the tower is coming in to change that situation so you're not it's not allowing you to sit down on your laurels and let things let the energy accumulate again the cycles are ending and you are going to be moving the change is coming to bring you into a different spiritual path and you need to follow it. You need to move. It, you need action. So something coming in to, to shuffle that energy around again uh, and to make you, bring you into uh, alignment with your true path, I think it is. Because, uh, you know, you've been going through a few years of uh, a lot of discontent. So a lot of cycles, a lot of stagnant energy being shifted and moved around to get you to where you need to go, to get you on that path that you need to follow to reach that form of that place of enlightenment. It, it says in the world card with Archangel Michael, the path towards enlightenment. So you are going towards that. So that is why things have been so, uh, you know, un, well, uneasy, shall I say, or things have been so um, volatile around. So it seems like, you know, just be aware that this tower could come in as well and bring another change that will get you up or shove you in towards uh, push you towards that path uh, of enlightenment, the path that you need to be in. 
um, and you are healing from this heartbreak that you went through, uh, but old cycles ending over here, and just watch your back. Make sure you're not getting back into old situations and bringing back old energy um, by reconciling with people that are, you know, really are not for you with a snake. These are people from the past because this hermit's looking at the past with this, uh, um, this lamp, the Star of David. So know your enemies and uh, it looks like he's caught the snake so you know that these enemy these people that you've been dealing with from the past who want to reconcile maybe are just you know people they are not really for you they were enemies and they will remain as enemies so be aware that you don't get back into that you're not drawn back into that old energy so i hope that this reading has resonated with you please don't forget to like share and subscribe and thank you so much for watching take care now goodbye